This morning we enjoyed a beautiful session dealing in an interesting and exciting topic. It is about how to minimize risks in atrial fibrillation ablation, an outstanding problem for an increasing and widespread procedure in daily practice. At the very beginning of the talks, we went through some interesting issues regarding how to deal with the human teams involved in that. Let's say how to react to unusual situations and on top of that how the preparation to the ablation is very, very important. In fact, the, the, the going back into the checks is very detailed, is a helpful tool to avoid complications. Some data regarding how the increased experience of the team results in better outcomes and more importantly in a safer results is very, very uh, compelling to be improved in our labs. Then later, there was a nice talk regarding an old topic, but let's say that it was reassessed. It is how radiation should be reduced in order to make a safe procedure, both to the performer and both to the patient. And we're, well, there were interesting data and interesting discussion regarding the issue that, let's say, younger electrophysiologists or people who are getting in the stage now with the new uh, electromagnetic navigation system, probably this may help, but not automatically reduce radiation. So it was going back in the old times, but let's do it in a new way. And finally, another new actor in the AFib ablation procedure regarding one of the most feared complications, stroke was uh, assessed by one of the speakers. And we want very detailed and very active discussion how the new direct oral anticoagulants probably have pushed away from the stage the old vitamin K and the old uh, heparin therapies that probably increase the risk. A very final statement regarding that bridging or changing therapy is the worst scenario, we probably concluded that better the bleed than a stroke. But with these new drugs, probably even, even we do not pay a bleed to avoid the stroke. Nice session.